Today I'm going to show you how to Swiss darn, or otherwise known as duplicate stitch, your little motifs onto your knits after knitting. This design here is my Little Hearts baby mitts and you can, there's two ways to actually um, work this motif. You can work it using a technique called intarsia where you knit the motif as you go without floats. If you don't feel you're quite up to doing that or you prefer not to, um, then you can duplicate stitch, Swiss darn this motif after knitting. So you will have a graph which you can follow which tells you where to place your stitches. I've popped the thread, thread through here ready to start. Um, so um, you have to bring your yarn under the ladder of this. You can see a ladder in between here. So it's at the bottom of the V underneath this little ladder which is slightly hidden. That comes up here and I'm going to cover this stitch here, the V above. So I will go under and through the stitch above and then this will come down and it will go back into this stitch. Now whilst I'm taking that through I'm also going to bring it up to the next stitch that I want to work. Now this heart stitch here, it goes up in diagonal. So I've worked this stitch, I need to do this stitch above my nail here. So I'm going to bring this up just below that stitch. And as I'm that's coming through, I'm making sure this stitch here is nicely uh, pulled, not too tight, not too loose just so it sits nicely over the top of that stitch. Now this is the next stitch I want to work. So I go in above it, I go under the V of the stitch above, and then I'm going to come into here. Now because I'm wanting to work this heart, I want to go to the next closest stitch as I come through, which is going to be this one here. I find if you do it, if you do it as you go, if you bring that stitch next stitch up, it just makes it an awful lot easier. So now I'm going to go across, I want, I want to fill in this stitch here, go to the stitch above. I'll bring that really close so you can see it. And then in through that centre. Now you can alternatively just take it through that back there, take it through like this if you prefer, and then bring it up again in the right place. I just find it's a lot quicker if you do it all in one go. As you're going through, you'll find the next stitch at the same point. So now I'm going to do this stitch here. So I go to the, to the stitch above, I go underneath that. And then I go in. So that's the start of the Swiss darning. This shows you the difference. This one has been knitted using intarsia. And this is the start of the heart um, using the Swiss darning technique. I hope this helps.